guys, Kevin here. Welcome to the XPS 15 Optimization Guide. Today we're going to be optimizing our CPU by undervolting it. This allows us to reduce overall temperature, increase battery life, and performance. Firstly, undervolting achieves all these benefits by reducing the voltage supplied to the CPU without affecting the CPU's performance. Essentially, you are feeding the CPU less power to reach the same level of performance or frequency as it would before. As less power is given to the CPU when it is undervolted, this leads to increased battery life performance and decreased temperature, all due to the reduced power usage. To undervolt our XPS 159560, firstly we need to download a utility called Throttle Stop. After you have launched Throttle Stop, go ahead and check Speed Shift. This is unrelated to undervolting, but it enables Intel's Speed Shift technology, which allows for smoother, quicker performance and better battery life. Next, click 5R. This is the menu that allows us to adjust our voltage levels and also modify our turbo ratio limits. On the left, if you wish, you can increase your turbo ratio limits to 3.8 on all cores, allowing for a slightly increased frequency boost when your XPS is performing under load. On the right is where we will do our undervolting. Firstly, we need to change the bottom right to save voltages immediately. Next, let's try some undervolting. Undervolt the CPU core, cache, and GPU by minus 100 millivolts and hit apply. If your laptop crashed and rebooted here, then that means you need to reduce this undervolt value until you find something stable. For example, you could try minus 80 millivolts and keep trying until you find a value where your laptop does not crash. If on the other hand, your laptop didn't crash at minus 100 millivolts, you can try to increase the undervolt amount in intervals, i.e. minus 10 millivolts, to find the sweet spot where your laptop doesn't crash, but you are eking out the maximum undervolt that your TPU can achieve. For me, my XPS 159560 with an i7-7700HQ stays stable at a minus 100 millivolt undervolt, however my XPS 13350 could reach minus 130 with its Skylake i5. After you're done, you can go ahead and click Apply and OK to close this window. Additionally, you can run a quick benchmark with TS Bench to help you determine whether your undervolt is stable or not. Now everything after this point of the video is optional, but reduces some of the annoyances with this application. I'll be showing you how to minimize and keep throttle stop in the notification area rather than the taskbar, and also how to have throttle stop launch at startup so that you don't need to launch it manually every time you start your machine. Firstly, uncheck taskbar and then click options. After that, select start minimized and minimized on close. Done. Now when you close throttle stop, it will stay in the notification area rather than the taskbar. Let's set up throttle stop for startup now. Open up task scheduler and start by clicking on create basic task on the right hand side. Enter a name for the task, throttle stop, and then click on next. For trigger, choose the option when I log on. For action, select start a program and then click on next. Click on browse and tell it where it can find throttlestop.exe. Click next to go to the summary window. Before clicking finish, select open the properties dialog for this task when I click finish. Now select run with highest privileges and then click on OK and you're done. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, concerns or suggestions, feel free to comment and let me know. Like this video if it helped you and subscribe for more videos on how to optimize your XPS 15 9560.